Uganda DR Congo MONUSCO supported by ADF Islamic State My My Kyandenga supported by Yaveri Museveni Felix Shisekedi Joseph Kabila Jamil Mukulu Musa Baluku Hud Lukwargo Yusuf Kabanda Muhammad Kayara Ashraf Lukwargo 2019-2020 is to 800-1400 The Allied Democratic Forces Insurgency is an ongoing conflict waged by the Allied Democratic Forces in Uganda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo against the governments of those two countries in the MONUSCO. The insurgency began in 1995, intensifying in 2013, resulting in hundreds of deaths. The ADF is known to currently control a number of hidden camps which are home to about 2,000 people. In these camps, the ADF operates as proto-state with an internal security service, a prison, health clinics, and an orphanage, as well as schools for boys and girls. The ADF was formed by Jamil Mukulu, an ultra-conservative Ugandan Muslim. Belonging to the Tablighi Jamaat group, Mukulu was born as David Stephen and was baptized as a Catholic, later converting to Islam, adopting a Muslim name and becoming radicalized. He reportedly spent the early 1990s in Khartoum, Sudan, coming into personal contact with Osama bin Laden. ADF merged with the remnants of another rebel group the National Army for the Liberation of Uganda. During the years following the fall of Idi Amin, ADFNALU's initial goal was to overthrow Ugandan President Yaveri Museveni government, replacing it with an Islamic fundamentalist state. The group went on to recruit former officers of the Ugandan army, as well as volunteers from Tanzania and Somalia. Funded by the illegal mining and logging industries of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, ADF created 15 well-organized camps in the Wenzodi Mountains, located in the DRC Uganda border areas. The insurgents remained unaffected by government amnesty and talk efforts, as members married local women, according to intelligence sources. ADF has collaborated with Al-Shabaab and Lord's Resistance Army, receiving training and logistic support, with limited direct involvement from Al-Shabaab's side. Other alleged sponsors of the faction include Sudanese Islamist politician Hassan al-Turabi and former DRC president Mobutu Sezi Seko, formed in 1989. ADF carried out its first attacks in 1995. The conflict gradually intensified, culminating in the 1998 Kichwamba Technical College attack, which left 80 people dead, with 80 more being abducted. By 2002, continuous pressure from the Ugandan army forced ADF to relocate most of its activities into Thay neighboring Democratic Republic of the Congo. The insurgency continued on a smaller scale until 2013, which marked a resurgence of ADF activity, with the group launching a recruitment campaign along with numerous attacks. A report of the Congo Research Group at New York University, released in September 2017, indicted the Congolese army commanders of orchestrating the massacres in Beni from 2014 to 2016. It cited multiple witnesses saying that army commanders, including the former top general in the zone, supported and in some cases organized the killings. Sources told it that during some massacres, Soldiers secured the perimeter so that victims could not escape. It stated that the first massacres were orchestrated in 2013 by former leaders of the rebel group, Popular Congolese Army, which fought in the Congo War of 1998-2003 to create a new rebellion and undermine confidence in 
the central government of DRC. These rebels were working with ADF per the report. However, when the massacres began, the army commanders co-opted many of the networks of the local militias to weaken their rivals. On 13 November 1996, ADF perpetrated its first large-scale attack on the towns of Biwera and M. Pondwe Lubiriha in Kasis District, Uganda. Approximately 50 people were killed in the attack. 25,000 people fled the towns before they were recaptured by Ugandan troops. On 20 February 1998, ADF abducted 30 children. In the aftermath of an attack on a Seventh-day Adventist college in Mitadi, Kasi's district, on 4 April 1998, five people were killed and at least six were wounded when bombs exploded at two restaurants in Kampala. On 8 June 1998, ADF rebels killed 80 students of the Kichwamba Technical College in Kabarol district, Uganda. 80 students were abducted in the same raid. In June 1998, ADF rebels abducted over 100 school children from a school in Hoima, Uganda. In August 1998, 30 people were killed in three separate bus bombings perpetrated by ADF. Between 10 April 1999 to 30 May 1999 ADF carried out seven attacks, resulting in 11 dead and 42 wounded. On 9 December 1999, ADF attacked the Katojo prison facility, releasing 360 prisoners held for terrorism. During March 2007, the UPDF engaged ADF groups in multiple firefights, killing at least 46 in Bundibagyo and Mubende districts. The biggest battle occurred on March 27, when the UPDF faced an estimated 60 ADF troops and killed 34, including three senior commanders. The UPDF claimed to have 